So last time we made a DVD ISO image ready to burn. So this time we're going to burn it. And what you need to do is open your default burning program called Baserio. And when you open it, you have these four options here, right? Well, the option we're going to use for for burning um, DVDs is this one, um, burn image. You can burn CD image with this and DVD image with this. So click on it, and you have this screen, right? Now on this screen, you need to find the ISO that you're wanting to burn. So this one is our ISO, and click open. And now the ISO is loaded. And now all you gotta do is pop in the the disc, the blank disc in, and it should be able to burn. Okay, and that's all you gotta do. And um, this button will be visible as soon as um, the blank disc is in, and you just click on it. And it should take a few minutes depending on your drive. And that's all. That's all you gotta do with that. And since I'm here anyways, I'm gonna explain all these other options. Um, disk copy is, uh, you can do direct disk copy. Like, uh, you have two drives, right? And uh, you want to do um, burn that disk into the other disk uh, directly. Or you can burn that disk to an ISO. So there's two scenarios for this one. One is, uh, like I said, you have a disk and you have a burning drive. And you want to copy that disk directly to that blank disk that you have. And all you gotta do is put it in to one drive and then you should select the drive that um, the source is from. And the other one's where the blank CD goes. Okay? And then you just click copy. That's all you gotta do. And the other way is, um, you have a drive but you don't have another drive okay you only have one drive and you want to copy that to um, um, your hard drive and that's how you do it is uh, click on this one and it says file image right this will create an ISO okay so if you pop in um, the disk right um, then you can make uh, a copy of it and it'll, be, it'll make it to an ISO so you can burn it again or save it on your hard drive and that's all you gotta do with that one in here so I'm gonna cancel it and uh, for this one is audio um, you know like those CD uh, that you buy back in the days or still nowadays <laughs> um, those CD um, that's how you do it you just uh, load in all the mp3s that you have or whatever you, you have a wave file whatever it is so to make one okay let's do this for example click on it so we have our mp3s okay let me get some mp3s here and we just load it in just drag and drop whatever you want that you want right drag and drop in here and you see these are mp3s right they'll convert it to a standard um, the, uh, uh, um, is it music CD? And you can add as many as you want, but see, you see how this bar here? If you add more, it'll just keep going, but you do not want to um, pass the limit of what it can hold for a uh, standard CDR. And after you get all your stuff in order and uh, you want to burn it, just click on burn and it should make a standard audio CD for like um, you know in your car or um, I don't know you used to have those disc walkman <laughs> that's what you use okay and that's all you gotta do for that okay now um, let's go back to uh, to the other options so. and this one's for data data projects right and data is anything to do um, like any files on your computer uh, the way you see on your computer that's how it's going to be stored like if it's mp3s it's going to stay mp3s if it's a picture image uh, like like this let's see or documents or like documents it's going to stay like this see so you can drag it in right and uh, as you can see uh, it has the same bar as um, the one before with audio so this only holds um, 870 MB but if you have like a DVD then you use um, those okay 
like if you have a um, DVD, let me say, if you have uh, a DVD that you want to save to a DVD, then you you use this one. Um, you have a dual layer, then you use that one up there. But a standard CDR is um, 700, right? But yeah, if you use DVD and all the other ones, just just change it and burn whatever you need to burn, so you can save it later. And that's all you gotta do uh, for Baserio. Um, those are the four options that they have right now. And that's all.